Hello, this is Kyle with Servicomp, and today I am going to show you a very brief and quick tutorial on how to print a beautiful um, professional CD covers, like so. Now I have a Canon MX922, I don't know if other brands do it. But I was super surprised when I was looking online, re just messing around, and I figured out that, wow, you can actually print awesome looking CD covers. So I bought uh, these CD covers, uh, the, uh, I think at Office Max, but you can just get one that automatically have like the blank white sticky tape. I don't recommend buying blank cds without the sticky stuff because that stuff's going to come off this is more longer lasting and i figured this out like six months ago or uh in, during the summer so excuse me so the way you do it is you pull out the second shelf it's not the bottom one but the upper cassette and then you see this on the bottom that i was really surprised it's like a secret i don't know why they did it this way but um, you have to pull it to the left and it unlocks and you find yourself a CD uh, a shelf or a rack and then you can put it back the upper shelf back on the bottom here and you open this part and I'll show you so as you see on the laptop I am using uh, Canon Easy Photo Print X. You can download that at the website. And all you have to do is set up your uh, artwork, uh, select the image like I made. I'm currently making a CD for a client of mine. And you basically hit print. So once you hit print, you'll see this disc label print message on the Canon. And you can place a printable disc on the disc tray. So what I will do is take out this disc tray, see? Excuse me for, it's a little messy in here. And you pull out the blank disc. And you press it down. I'll provide links in the video about where you can buy some of the materials. But you can press it down. And then you pull this little shelf down here. Hopefully you can see it all the way down and it clicks and then there's a little arrow right there and you put it a little bit on top and it slides in and you slide it when those arrows meet and the next thing you do is just hit OK and you could just watch it print and it goes in like so it's pretty cool I never knew about this technology till I owned this like maybe like two months already or I'm sorry not two months but uh two year uh three years four years almost and I never even used this until uh just a few months ago and it just prints like so it goes pretty fast To add on a little things about to talk about since uh, this is going to take a while. So for some reason my printer keeps not responding and what I found online is you're supposed to turn it off, uh, unplug the the cord and then you uh, lift up the, the seat and there should be a little string in the middle. And I think I'll show you like right after this. But that's a way to clean it. The, the, the reason why it does it I think it either has something to do with the wireless or also needs to be clean. I didn't realize how dirty it gets. You can go to the menus and uh, clean it with that, but in the end it's not enough, so you can grab water or alcohol, rubbing alcohol and you, with cotton balls, and you could swipe it inside, which I'll show a little bit after this is done. And there you have it. It's beautiful.
really professional looking. It's better than the light scrub. I used to use light scrub in the past, but I mean, light scrub looks pretty cool, but the thing is you can't print in color. And not, let alone I updated my computer already. And most uh, uh, CDs don't come with light scribe. Uh, the, the CD burner didn't come with the light scribe option. So I had to do the color version. So that one's done there. And that's it. Oh, one thing I want to do is once you turn it off, you can open this. And you'll see like that little strip. You're supposed to clean that. That's why it doesn't work. So that you're supposed to turn it off before that. And then I don't know if you can see it back there. Let's shut this. There's, there's little black things, uh, little white things that you're supposed to clean too in the rollers up there too. So when you, um, see those, they're spinning, I don't know if you can see it. But clean everything back there and it should work. I, I mean, I haven't cleaned it for a long time, so it's pretty dirty. And that's why the printer kept on not responding. I don't know why Canon doesn't offer better support with that. I've been having issues with scan lines and the scans don't work. So what you can do is clean this. Uh, with with a cotton ball and maybe use uh, uh, those blowers those spray cans and then you could clean this it usually it said it does those weird streaks those horizontal vertical lines is because of dust but I wasn't able to figure it out so I got like these album covers I created you could see like the probably hard to see in the camera but there's a lot of streaks the scan wasn't that high of a quality unfortunately I mean the the cover looks nice so and I'll be cutting that and then put him in a CD jewel case which you can get online too and that's it all right thank you bye